Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to wire up a 3 phase 30 amp disconnect. So when it says 3 phase 30 amp disconnect, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be 30 amps. What that means is it could be 30 amps or less. It could be used to control or disconnect a 15 amp circuit. Or it could be used to control a 20 amp circuit. It means 30 amps or less. Also, it doesn't necessarily have to be be used solely for three phase. You can use this disconnect to disconnect uh, 240 volt single phase circuits as well. So it's a three phase 30 amp disconnect, but it can be used also for single phase. It could also be used for three phase, and it could be used for anything 30 amps or less. So let's look at our disconnect here. Okay, so. All right, now I am going to move the camera closer so we can see better as to what's going on. All right, so what we have coming into the disconnect is we have two sets of wires. We have one set of wires coming from the panel. That set of wires coming from the panel, which is this set, that set of wires is the line side wires is coming from the panel. The other set of wires is the load side wires. They're coming from the equipment. In this video, the equipment is a VAV, a 20 amp VAV. So these wires that's coming from the panel, they're landed on a 20 amp three phase or uh, three pole breaker. And so we got our two sets of wires, the line side and the load side, along with a, a ground in each conduit. So the way it works is the wires coming from the panel is the line side wires. They'll land where the line side wires should land. In this disconnect, they land up here on top. Uh, the wires coming from the actual equipment itself is the low side. They land on the bottom. So in most disconnects, it's like this. The line side land on top. The low side land on bottom, and there's a spot for your grounds to land. So again, my phase I'm dealing with is three phase, 208 volts. So I'm dealing with three phase, and I'm doing 208 volts. And there again, I want to do the grounds first. They land here. The grounds land on this little small ground bar here. So you just simply land those grounds on the ground bar there. Alright. That's the ground coming out of my line side. Then you do the same with the ground coming out of your load side. They both land on that same ground bar. Okay, now we're ready to land our uh, phase wire. So there again, it, this is three phase, uh, 208 volts. Now my colors are black, red, blue, A phase, B phase, C phase. Now depending on what you're doing, your colors may be different than this. You may be doing 480 and your colors may be uh, brown, orange, and yellow. Uh, it, or it may be any other color other than green, white, and gray. And so it could be any colors. But here where I live in the United States of America, 208, three-phase wires are normally black, red, blue. Black being A phase, red being B phase, and blue being C phase. So these are my line side wires. They're coming from the panel. They land on top. Okay. They land up on top. I'm gonna land those. And I also wanna encourage you to look for the word line. 
So a lot of disconnects, they'll have the word line written in them, and they'll have the load, the word load written in them where the line and the load should be terminated. But most disconnects, the line will always be at the top and the load will always be at the bottom. So I just terminated A phase, black wire, now I'm terminating the B phase, red wire, okay? And the C phase, blue wire. Okay, so now I've terminated my line side wires coming from the panel, and now we can terminate our low side wires. You may want to use some tie wraps to hold those in place so they don't look so sloppy. Okay, so my low side A phase, which is the black, right across from the black on top. From left to right, terminated my black A phase. Then I'll terminate my red B phase. And my blue C phase. And there you have, and that's how it's done. Now, I do wanna, I forgot to mention this, but you do wanna make sure the three pole breaker that's in the panel that controls your disconnect, the line side, you wanna make sure that's turned off. Anyway, that's how it's done. I hope you can find this video beneficial, and I thank you for watching.